Hello again, Mum Plus Two here, and this is part two of my review of the Afro Hair and Beauty Show Live 2012. Okay, so as I think I said in the first part of the video, we got given um, various goodie bags and samples as we've sort of made our way around the exhibition, one of them being Miss Jessie's. Um, so I think they were sort of homing in on the ladies and men that were there with natural hair and sort of I uh, could see most of the people that had natural hair had one of these bright orange Miss Jessie's bags. Um, so I'll show you what was actually inside there. First of all a couple of leaflets, one of them called Which One Is For Me and this talks about all the different products that they have in their range and and what will work for each different curl type so you went from sort of wavy through to curly tight curly um kinky and they also had a bit on the back for those who were transitioning from relaxed to natural um and in each section you can see sort of the products that they recommend would work for each hair type now there's also a leaflet here which goes into a bit more depth about the different products um, and also it has like a sort of a step by step for each different type of hairstyle, sort of the twist outs, um, how to use their recovery treatment, um, coil outs and what products to use and also what tools that you would need as well, um, sort of a um, twist out on children's hair using the baby butter cream and so on and so forth. So those were the two leaflets inside and we actually, I think we got a sa one sample of each product, if, if I'm not mistaken. So you have the Super Slip Sudsy Shampoo sample, um, the Super Sweet Back Treatment, I think this is a deep conditioner, yep, deep treatment, um, the Baby Butter Cream, the curly pudding and the creme de la curl. I think that was all. Um, also, I have a Grow Organics um, daily topical scalp treatment. I'm not sure if that was actually meant to be in the bag or whether I picked that from somewhere else and just threw that in there. Um, but those were the samples that we got. As I said in the first part of the video, Miss Jessie's was there, um, both founders who you can see on the back of here. Both of them were there doing demonstrations and there was a man as well with them doing sort of talks about the different, almost preaching about the different products and how you can achieve this type of curl and that type of curl. Um, and so there they were doing demonstrations on different hair textures. I must admit they were mainly sort of working on, I'd say more the wavy and the curly textures of hair, so they were mainly demonstrating their products on sort of these first two textures. I think I only saw one lady with really sort of thick kinky hair, um, and I think they were do maybe doing a twist out on her. Um, one thing I did notice as well that they were using a, a fine tooth comb on the hair, um, and being a little bit rough actually when they were trying to comb it through. Um, and they were doing a shingling method as well so I didn't really stay too long for that because that kind of put me off um, but I'll, I guess I will sort of try these products out and I'll, I'll get back to you with a review on those and see how they are so that was Miss Jessie um, what else did I pick up I went to the Root to Tip store um, and I actually bought some products because my daughter's hair really loves the Root to Tip line so I basically stocked up on their products as well. Um, Sal, who is the founder of Root to Tip, actually did a talk um, on both the Sunday and the Monday about sort of caring for children's hair and how to use the products. And they actually did a nice little um, show on the main stage with the, some of the little girls with tutus and nice colourful dresses with their beautiful hair sort of saying, you know, no to the relaxers and to, have, you know, to love your hair as it is in its natural state and that was really cool. Um, so anyway, I bought two of the Kinky Curly, Kinky Coily Curl Honey Rain Juice. Um, I wanted to try the co-wash as well, that's one of the new products in their line. 
I bought the Heavenly Hair Milk and I bought the Vanilla Sun Twirly Butter. So my daughter's hair really loves those so I thought I'd better stock up on those whilst I see her. I prefer to sort of buy in person than to purchase things online. So as I run out of things I sort of look out for the next events and try to purchase them whilst I'm there and you usually get a little bit of a discount as well because they always do sort of like special offer events um, offers on their products so I went there um, Beautiful Textures also had a goodie bag as well um, and I only actually got one sample in the goodie bag I mean I've basically just thrown my other things in there just so I wasn't carrying so many bags but yeah, there was only one sample in the bag, so I kind of thought that was a bit of a waste of time. Um, and it was a sample of the, let me see, the Curl Control Pudding. I've actually already used that sample because I did some um, quills on my son's hair, so I've used that sample. But it was about, I'd say, about this size, and it was like a double sample, so it was two stuck together like that. I'm just giving this as an example to show you because I haven't actually got the sample now. Um, so that's what I got from Beautiful Textures. Um, Felicia Leatherwood was at their store representing them and she did a talk as well and I think those that did go to the talk because I was reading um, some people's reviews on their vlogs, I mean blogs and um, reading some of their information from other people and basically those that did go to the talk did get a few samples of the products and also a couple of full size products as well I think of the curl cream and the leave-in conditioner so I actually missed all of the talks um, when I went so I didn't get any of those but hey ho um, I went to the Curls Unleashed store um, by Organic Root Stimulator and Curls Unleashed is actually their new line for natural hair so I went there and I purchased the sulfate free shampoo um, so I wanted to try that out so I got that I actually got the no boundaries leave-in conditioner free full size um, product and we also got a sample of each of the products in their range I think so inside there I got the mini leave-in conditioner mini size of the shampoo and the mini sizes of the curl defining cream, the moisturising conditioner, and the curl boosting jelly. And I actually got an extra one of the curl defining creams as well. I've got two of those. So that's what we've got there. Nice size samples, and I actually like the fact that these containers you can actually keep once they're finished and put other things in just to pop into your handbag and stuff when you're out and about or if you're travelling so that's really nice and I swear I've got a free um, leave-in conditioner as well so I'll do a review on those eventually and get back to you on how those were in my hair um, MMM Hair was also there and as you know I really love their spritz their revitalising spritz um, so I was quite excited at the fact that she had a few new products in her range um, one of them being the conditioning balm and she also had a conditioning and styling butter and a scalp and hair elixir so I actually bought those she did have some sample sizes which are these ones um, on a special offer two for five pounds so I bought those and the elixir was something like was it 2 95 or 3 95 I can't remember something like that so I bought that one as well so it was really good to see her as well um, I went to the Black Hair and Beauty magazine store and they were having a special offer where you can get two magazines for £1.50 each I think they are yeah they're normally two ninety nine. so you can get two copies of the Black Hair and Beauty um, and if you buy those, you get a free copy of the Braids and Natural Styling magazine. I've actually given that to a friend to have a look through, so I haven't got that here. But these are the magazines that I actually got. So I think that was the April-May issue. And also the latest issue, the June-July issue. So 
so I got both of those for three pounds. And also, if you bought those, you can actually take a little token to get your photograph actually pop onto a magazine cover to take away with you. So I did that as well. So that's the actual magazine cover photograph with me on it. So I get to keep that as like a little memento, which was nice. Um, where else did I go? I went to a store called Officially Natural and basically they were going to be launching a new product called Curly Cheats. Now, I don't know if you've heard of things like Curl Box um, and I can't remember what the others are, it slipped my mind, but basically there are subscriptions going around both in the UK and the US where you subscribe every month. Um, you sort of fill out a little questionnaire and every month they send you um, sample sizes of products to try out. Um, the subscriptions vary in price as well. But this company are actually going to be doing something similar to that geared specifically to natural hair, curly, kinky hair. So that will be quite interesting to see what they're like. I might try that out. But um, one of the ladies was actually talking to me sort of about what my thoughts were on this year's Afro Hair and Beauty Show. She'd been previous years and she also thought that this year was the best year in terms of representation of natural hair. Um, we actually got a photograph taken. Um, in this one, I'm in the middle. One of the founders of um, Officially Curly is this lady here on the end. I've forgotten her name, it's so embarrassing, so apologies for that and also Crystal Afro. So we were all there sort of having a little mini discussion and then we got our photo taken. And I think she was actually sort of, she had a little photo booth there so she was sort of taking pictures of other naturals that were around the exhibition and she was also doing some big chops as well for some ladies who were transitioning, which is really cool. So that was the photograph there. And um, she sort of took my details down and we got a little goodie bag from there. And inside there we had some little samples. So if I get that out. So I've got samples of Talia Wajid Kinky Wavy Natural Herbal Style and Shine, which I think is one of the products aimed at children from their range. And also got a curl sealer sample. And the great Tangler. I've heard a lot of um, Talia Waji, so it'll be interesting to see how their samples work out in my hair. We also got a sample of Royal Roots. Um, I'm not actually, what is this? Hair and Scalp Nutria, um, which I think is some sort of um, hair dress or some sort of hair and scalp cream. So I've got that. Um, and a sample of the Care Care Naturals Defining Custard. So those were what was in the little goodie bag from Officially Natural. Um, I also got a few samples of the Maduri Texturizer Softening Mud. I got three of those as I was on my way out of the show. Um, and we also got some leaflets as well. Um, I got one of these flyers, so it looks like there's another up and coming um, meetup or event. This is next month, the 28th of July, that's happening um, by Uzima, the Natural Holistic Expo 2012. So you might want to Google that and see what that's about. And we also got a few other leaflets and stuff. So that's what I bought from the show. Oh! Sorry, I also went to the Jane Carter store um, and they were having a special offer on their products actually. So I'm not 100% sure how much their products are normally, 